Hi, I'm Gilbert Strang and uh, professor of mathematics at MIT and I get a chance to say a few words uh, about 1806 linear algebra. It's one of the basic math courses. Um, it's uh, maybe say, if, can I say a little about linear algebra itself? Um, that the classes in linear algebra uh, earlier years tended to be pretty much for pure math majors and a lot of proofs and the uh, usefulness of the subject kind of uh, wasn't so clear. Whereas it's an incredibly useful subject. People, data is coming in all the time. We're in the century of data and uh, data tends to come in in a matrix, in a rectangular array of, of numbers. And how to understand that data is a giant, giant problem. And, uh, and people use matrices in solving differential equations, in economics, everywhere. So the subject had to change to bring out this important aspect, that it's terrifically useful. Often networks are a great model where you have like, like the internet. Uh, every website would be like a node in the network and if two, if one website is linked to another one, there would be maybe an edge in that network. So that's a network with a billion nodes. And uh, a matrix describes all those links. And like when Google uh, produces a page rank, you know, you enter, well, you could enter linear algebra and see what happens. I don't know. I hope something good. Uh, well, anyway, what, thousands and millions of stuff would come up in, a, in ranked in order. And that order comes from operating, Google's very fast at it, very good at it, operating on that giant matrix of, uh, that describes the internet. Okay, so a word about the course itself, the MIT course. First of all, uh, most many of the students coming from all the departments. Uh, it includes management, you know, business data comes in matrix form just the way engineering data comes. And uh, uh, so the, you know, there is hardly a prerequisite for the course. There's no big reason why calculus has to come first. Um, the most, probably most MIT students will know before the course starts, they will have multiplied a matrix by a vector or multiplied two matrices. So they're, they've at least seen matrices before, but anybody could catch up on that quickly. Uh, and then the course just takes off. Uh, actually, we go back to ask how, what's, how do you understand multiplying a matrix by a vector? A key, yeah, it, you guys will probably know how to do it, but let me say another way. Uh, a matrix times a vector produces a combination of the columns in that matrix, those column vectors in the matrix. Uh, so that's like uh, the key step in linear algebra. What you can do with vectors is take linear combinations. Well, so at MIT, the course is organized with three lectures a week. Uh, and it's, I use the chalkboard. I hope you feel in watching them that uh, that's okay. The nice thing about chalkboard is you get to see the, what's written doesn't disappear. So you, your eye can continually check back and see is it, uh, uh, is it, how does it connect with what's happening at the moment. Uh, and then there's one hour a week of recitation where, because that's a smaller class, it just means there's a teaching assistant there who can help with problems, suggest new problems, it can be a problem-based hour where my lectures have to, are more explanation hours. So about the textbook, uh, the homeworks come from the book mostly. Sometimes we add MATLAB problems, sort of specially constructed ones, but the central ideas of the subject are 
described in each section of the book and then naturally exercises to practice with those ideas. And then the neat thing about 1806 Scholar is you get short lectures, short videos from six different TAs, did about six problem solving videos each and they are neat. Uh, the TAs are good uh, and uh, that's something that can happen in the recitation with a smaller group. Um, the, there's a chance for discussion whereas in the lecture, well I still ask questions in the lecture as you'll probably see, uh, but uh, it's a little harder for students to shout out an answer so they can shout all they want in their recitations. With each lecture we produce a written summary of what it's about. So after you watch the lecture you could look at that summary and it reinforces remembering the key points of the lecture. And then we also added in some problems. You know, four or five problems from the book that you could uh, just look at and see, okay, do I know what the question is here? Do I know how to do it? Uh, I think as a result, you're learning linear algebra. A thought or two about linear algebra worldwide, because it really is worldwide. I, the, the feedback comes from all over the world. It's really nice to get. And I, I, also, I enjoy going. So if somebody invites me to Egypt or Australia or China, I tend to go if I can. And uh, because it, that's a lovely part about mathematics. It's uh, really universal. It's, uh, it's a language almost of its own that, that uh, uh, everybody can learn to speak. And uh, I hope these lectures help.